and live from Sensational Headquarters, ladies, we are here to slay with you, not to play with you. We want to bring to you our new Cloud9 What Lace Collection. This is our Selena wig, and we're going to show you how to melt her down today. Let's jump right into this tutorial, starting off with our supplies. The most important thing is that your wig cap is as close to your skin tone as possible. If you can't find one that's close to your skin, you can tint it like we're going to be doing today with the foundation of your choice. You're going to need some temporary or permanent hold glue depending on what you like, as well as some clips, combs, brushes, scissors, razors, and a couple of hot tools to really set your style into place. Our wet lace collection has beautiful flamboyage colors that make it look like you stepped right out of the salon chair. We have combs and a 13 by 6 inch frontal space area here to make sure your wig is secure and can be glueless if you don't want to use any glue. We have a comb at the nape of the neck and adjustable straps to ensure a nice secure fit. We're going to start by clipping the hair out of the way and cutting off our lace. We like to keep our lace as close to the hairline as possible so that we have a nice easy transition. A braided down foundation is very important if you're going to be securing your wig ladies. Placing your wig cap over top of your braids as well as over top of your ears, make sure that when you get to that ear tab section, it doesn't fly up. We're going to apply thin layers right at our hairline of on top of our wig cap with some holding spray to ensure that our foundation is nice and firm. Blow drying it helps to get extra crispity but it also makes sure that it, it dries just faster because if you try to do this install and rush it on wet glue, it will look like it. You're gonna cut off your wig cap right at your hairline, right where you stopped that glue at. Then we're going to take those rolled up edges and we're going to glue those down as well because those edges can be seen through the thin Swiss lace on this wig. I'm applying this spray foundation to my wig cap so that it matches and when I part my hair it looks like scalp. Because this is a synthetic wig, I'm spraying my knots with a spray foundation to cover them. You can't bleach these knots, but you can camouflage them a little bit more. We're going to flip this wig back and place her on our head right where we about want her to sit. I'm clipping the hair out the way because we're now going to apply our gel right on the edge of our wig cap and our skin. So we have a smooth, seamless transition right there. I'm going to let this dry down until it's clear or a little bit tacky, and then I'm going to adjust my wig and place it right at that hairline. Because the glue is not fully dry, I'm able to place and reposition this wig as needed. Using that rat tail comb to melt my skin and my lace and that gel to become one. This is the most important step. You need to do it in small sections and you need to take your time. Doing this with a rat tail comb or some tool, it helps ensure that the gel doesn't get on your fingers and it doesn't turn white. I'm spraying a little extra holding spray because I don't want this wig to go anywhere. Because we put our wig cap underneath, we now can part this baby anywhere we want. I'm opting for a curved side part. This is a synthetic wig, but she can take heat up to 400 degrees. So I'm going to take my hot comb and put it on a number one setting and I'm going to open up my part and work those edges by smoothing and laying down my wig, making sure there are no lumps, no humps, or no bumps. Now I'm going to work on my baby hairs. Now baby hairs aren't for everybody and that's okay, but I like them. So I'm going to section off a small section right here above my ears, right at my hairline. 
taking my razor comb to thin out and also trim up my baby hair. I like mine a little bit longer so that on the days where I don't want to wear my baby hairs gel down, they can kind of just act as a nice transition into the hairline itself. Starting with my small toothbrush, I'm going to go in there and just play around swooping and just having a little fun with my hair because this is what I like. If your ear tabs are still flying up, laying down your baby hairs with some more gel will also help those sides of your ear tabs stay down. Get into it ladies, that lace is melted into my scalp. Weaving your edgier rat tail comb in and out helps just get the right amount of hair out for your baby hairs. You don't want this to look like too much, but you also want to make sure you have enough out there to get the desired look you like. Again, however long or short you like your baby hairs, ladies, that's up to you. It's your wig. Make it your own. here today with our finished sleigh. Just like that, because this is already pre-cut, colored, and styled, all you have to do is apply your wig and hop out the door, ladies. Thanks for watching, ladies. We'll be back with more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you like this, let us know.